low taxes, leading to growth and opportunity. How do you know you have what it takes for life at the very top? Whether you children believe in with the highest of borrowing taxes and higher inflation years, and higher mortgage rates. That is a serious Two issue. experienced candidates are working their hardest to prove that they deserve to be the most powerful person in the UK. Their audience, a select group of members of arguably the oldest political party in the world. It's about keeping your promises. This is really important, but the, the, the next way... Rishi Sunak, the former Chancellor of the Exchequer, who led the country through Covid, and a former Goldman Sachs banker. The future of our country and the party. Liz Truss, the current longest surviving cabinet minister who signed post-Brexit trade deals and now jets across the world as foreign secretary. The victor will get to lead the country, but is there any other way to pick such a powerful figure? Ryder Street, St James, please, thank you. How do you work out who and what makes a great leader? I'm off to see a recruitment company that seeks out leaders for the private sector, for government and even for the BBC. If the UK was a private company, would I have any chance at all of being its CEO? The CEO has to do more to get their job than the Prime Minister does. You know, certainly when we look at the way we, we assess CEOs, how organisations plan, for succession, the years that go into thinking about have we got the right person, the thoughtfulness that goes into it, it's not like gazing into a crystal ball. We don't see that same thoughtfulness go into thinking about who our political leaders are. Hello there. Hello. My name is Kirsty Walker. I'm here for the role of CEO of Enterprise UK. Lovely. If you'd like to follow me, we can. And we'll begin with this. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. Thank you. Thanks. Rishi Sunak says he has a Twix and a Sprite before he gives an important speech. I've gone for the more traditional option before my interview, Iron Brew and a Tunnock's Tea Cake. Corn Ferry claim they can judge CEO ability through analytical methods like this psychometric test. A highly demanding career. I'm going to move it up. Providing the spotlight, I am going to move that to the bottom. I am indeed. Thank you. With that complete, it's time for the boardroom reckoning. Hi, Kirsty. Come on in and have a seat. Thank really you. good to meet you. Welcome. Um, thank you for taking time to complete the psychometric. So mental agility is where you've scored highly. You've got a, an intellect that likes to understand why. Mm -hmm. You like to probe. You like to find novel solutions. You're quite a creative thinker. So that mental agility would serve you very well, for example. Where uh, the, the score is more to the left is on change agility. Yes. And does that resonate for you? Um, prefer structure, stability and the tried and true, may prefer to follow rather than lead change. That's interesting because I wouldn't have thought uh, I was pre prefer to follow rather than lead change. That's interesting you found that. So what we saw in your profile was that, yeah, there's this huge intellectual curiosity where you want to get to grips with complexity, mm. you're willing to dive deep, but when it comes to um, pushing through, mm -hmm. when it comes to being really resilient and persistent, having a goal that's quite a long-term goal that you're really in steadfast pursuit mm -hmm. of over time, actually there's an element of a bit of a free spirit about you and you'd rather set your own goals and actually there might be a little bit of, well if those goals mm -hmm. aren't working I'm going to try these <laughs> over here. There's a self-reliance about you. Right. So what that would suggest in relation to this job is that you would perhaps struggle with some of the more um, directive uh, mm -hmm. command skills uh, aspects of leadership mm -hmm. and that you might be um, a lot less interested in kind of being on the sharp end of making decisions that perhaps um, what not to do um, and what the decisions that take the business forward the big bets if you like. So with this particular insight into the profile of a CEO what goes into making a great leader? There's a big responsibility to make a connection with the people that you are responsible for and you know there's there's lots of examples certainly in my working experience of of where the leaders make a deliberate effort to go out and 
get behind the bar, pull pints if they're mm -hmm. running a, a retail, a hospitality company, be back on the shop floor, work the, mm -hmm. walk the factories. That's part of what being a CEO is. You've really got to understand the people that you're responsible for and you have an accountability for your people the same way as you have a fiduciary accountability. So actually, you don't see that much difference in being CEO of Enterprise UK and being the Prime Minister. I think the responsibility is still there to get to know people. You have to understand what, what your people are going mm -hmm. through and what, what their needs are and what their fears are. I would tend to say it's an exec chair rather than a CEO who's the Prime Minister. Sally Morgan was at Tony Blair's right hand for almost a decade and has worked across the private and public sector. I think a great Prime Minister is above all a leader. Mm -hmm. They're a leader rather than a manager. I mean, they do need to, they need to make sure management is done well but they're not the person in charge of management. Um, and I think they've got to have real clarity about what it, is, mm -hmm. what it is they're trying to do and why they're trying to do it and how they're trying to do it and what the priorities are. Um, and they've really got to kind of, they've got to constantly talk about that so that everybody gets it and right. then people can work with it. Back to the office, please. Well, I'm collaborative, I've got mental agility, I'm intuitive, but I'm not assertive enough, and I'm not going to be a revolutionary leader. So I think it's a bit of a stretch to be CEO in the UK. I'll leave it running for leader to Rishi and Liz and just do my job the next time they come on Newsnight. <laughs>